for more on the science of the earthquake, we want to bring in Dr. Michio Kaku from Las Vegas. He's a theoretical physicist and CBS News science and futurist contributor. Michio, as we mentioned, the earthquake in Mexico was 7.1 magnitude. What does that mean in terms of strength and force? What kind of damage is a quake like that capable of? Well, there is some thinking that it could actually be an aftershock of the 8.1 earthquake that we had just two weeks ago. And by comparison, just remember that a 7.9 earthquake leveled San Francisco back in 1906. Now, people say, why Mexico? Why Mexico? Well, Mexico sits on top of the collision of three major fault lines. We have the Cocos Fault, the North American Fault, and the Caribbean Fault. And also, Mexico City is built on top of a lake. Tremendous soil amplifies the power of an earthquake. Not to mention the fact that this earthquake was very shallow, only 33 miles below the surface of the Earth. The shallower the earthquake, the more devastating it could be. So for all these reasons, it magnified the power of this 7.1 earthquake. So given what you just uh, spelled out there, Michiu, what is the likelihood of more aftershocks? Can you explain how those work? Yes, we think there are going to be more aftershocks in the coming days and coming weeks. Every time you have a big earthquake, you release vast amounts of energy that is locked inside these plates. Now remember that one plate, the Cocos plate, is in a subduction fault. It is actually going underneath the North American plate. Wow. And it's building up tremendous tension because the, the, the rock has basically locked in place. So when the rock slips, that's when you get a massive earthquake like this. And you can also get tsunamis also. And so for all these reasons, that area is earthquake prone. Well, there's just devastating images coming out of Mexico tonight. Dr. Michio Kaku, thanks so much. Thank you.